piece of work was done by the children um, who are very reluctant to um, express themselves on paper. They've been coming here for about between 18 months and two and a half years and all of them have found it difficult to read, write and do art. I showed them a piece of work similar to this which I did myself about 15 years ago and I suggested that each of them did seven small pieces of work to represent seven days of the week and it was very difficult but they have done all this. The point of this and why I like this to be displayed in this way is that all the children are very different but all together they work really well together and all these pieces of work are put together next to each other to represent the fact that they are all together in a community which is operating at New Life Horse Care. This was done by Lucy who's got severe autism and she uh, took one of these little boards and painted this outside in the rain so in a way she was collaborating with nature and they were working together, her and nature. And she also did this one, this was her first one and it's a collage and she was just using um, bits of material that she found here like the horse hair and leaves and straw and wood to make a little collage of a little pony with the wood and the leaves and things. And there's some very interesting collages here. The clown and this pink one and these stones and these other stones here. And these were done by a girl at Ellen Tinkham who has got very severe special needs. He's the only one who insisted that his work was put in a block. But everyone else was happy to have their work just in positioned in a random way. They were done by Lucy who did this one here and she did the red one here. So her work's become quite diverse. It's interesting that some of them use really bright colours and other people use like black and white. So that was done by a boy called Charlie who's really autistic and he came here with a lot of aggression and he did these over a period of one morning and he started off with that one and his last one was that one which was infinitely lighter. These were done by a girl who was 15 called Paige and so she just hurled the paint on, on the boards and it went on the floor as well but she did get into it. And this one was done by Tanya and her puppy chewed the corners off and that's her puppy there. Minus eyes for some reason but he, he chewed the corners off. I'm so chuffed at the amount of work they've done and when they actually saw this they they were really, really encouraged because it's something they could really see that they've all contributed to. And it's, it's been very interesting how they've all, having seen this as a visual thing, it's brought them more together in a more cohesive way. Mm. This was um, dictated to me by a boy who doesn't write. Um, and he's nearly 13, his name's Nathan, and he says this. Ponies taught me that life is meaningful, that you have to take risks taught me to love the world and everything in it. Brought me from being a shy child to a loud and enthusiastic person. You only have one life to live. You must not waste it. Be an example to the world. And that really, for me, sums up what I try and achieve here. You bring that, I think the whole thing about equine assisted learning is about people learning not just from the ponies, but how to be with one another. And that I think is really, really important because you go, you know, these young people go back into society and they cannot live alone. They have to be able to communicate with one another. And this, this has kind of grounded them and made them feel that they are all together as a group and they've all worked together. It's something very, very tangible. So I'm really, really proud of them.